Good day. This is Omanike. It's been a little while. I'm out doing my walk. And I haven't done that in a while either. It is a beautiful park. Morning. Tampa Bay has some beautiful, beautiful parks. It had rained a lot here. Uh, I think yesterday, day before. It'll probably rain today. Because it's it is the hurricane season. They usually play football or soccer. Some people call them soccer. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. Look at the light. Beautiful. Morning. Let me walk a little faster. All right. So yeah, I hardly you know, do my power walks these days. I've been quite busy working in a, a different role at my PRN job. But I must tell you, I am, um, I am losing some weight like I want, and I am definitely losing inches. Um, I noticed because what I, what I would do, I would videotape myself nude and I would see that, you know, my gut is getting smaller. Hold on. This is beautiful. Y'all got to look at this. But this water here, there's so much water here. You can't even walk. It's not beautiful. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so what I would do, because a lot of times you cannot see your own changes. Morning, I would videotape myself nude, front and back. Um, I would do that, let's say, once a month, and I would see the changes of myself gaining weight or losing weight. That's how I take account if I'm, you know, on track. Because the, a lot of times the scale does not tell you the truth. The scale tells you your entire weight, but it doesn't account for you losing fat, and you know muscle weighs more than fat so for a long time i've been a certain weight and it hasn't gone down but i definitely see that the fat around you know the gut around the stomach and waist is shrinking so it's not even really i mean exercise yes it is important it's very important for the body but it's more so important to me, my opinion on what you're eating. And I've decided, oh man, y'all gotta look at this. This looks so beautiful. Look at this. Oh my goodness, like I could shoot a movie up in here. Morning. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. They don't see the beauty. <laughs> uh, what can I tell you? Men. Yeah, but anyway, you know, muscle weighs more than fat. 
So anyway, what I've started doing, I've, I've done some research um, on YouTube. I've done, re you know, I'm reading and I've been doing intermittent fasting and one or two meals a day. They call it OMAD, one meal a day. And it's been helping me maintain weight and losing the fat. I look better, I feel better. So I'm loving it. Yep. So I see the changes. Other people see the changes as well. And I asked them, I asked them to be truthful. And some people will tell you if you're gaining weight. And that's fine because Sometimes, I mean, you might be embarrassed, but we need someone to be truthful with us. You know, a lot of times people are like, oh, it's okay, you look okay, and your ass don't look okay. You know, or like, you know, you're fat, and you say you're fat, and people are trying to tell you you're not fat. No, my, you're fat, okay? You're fat. A lot of people might not want you to make changes because they feel intimidated. But it's not about them. It's about you and your health. You know what I'm saying? I mean, me, personally, I'm about me. I'm not about trying to get anybody. For me, that time has passed. It has passed for me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm... I don't even want to get on that subject. <laughs> Let's just say that is not my priority in life, uh, to find a mate. My priority is to be the best person I can be. And that includes my health, me being healthy. Um, I told y'all, if you watch some of my videos back in October of last year, that I have successfully um, reversed diabetes. You know, it, my A1C was 6.6, .6, got it down to 5.5, doing what I'm doing now, okay? So, you know, I'm not trying to tell, oh, what a cute dog. I'm not trying to tell people what to do. All I do is suggest that you do your own research and you take your health in your own hands. That's it. I'm not saying do away with medication. Oh, look at this dog. Your dog is so cute. Oh, thank you. Oh. Anyway, I'm not saying I'm gonna get out of his way. Mercy. Okay. Yeah, I'm not saying do, do away with medication. I'm saying, you know, if you're on meds, take your meds, right? For diabetes or whatever. But just don't rely on meds and say you're going to eat whatever the hell you want to eat. There are books out there by legit doctors like Dr. Jason Fung who has a book, two books. One is called The Obesity Code. He also has another book called The Diabetes Code. You can get it on Amazon. Dr. Fung, Jason, you know, Dr. Jason Fung, he's also on YouTube. So, you know, when you get done with this, you can find him on YouTube. So, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just doing my thing, y'all. Working and um, trying to meet my personal challenges. And um, so far, the stress eating, I got it under control. Because I have stress. <laughs> stress in my life, especially this new position I have. It's going to be a temporary position. But, um... It's all good, you know? I'm working, right? Like I said, um, 
my field is one where there are jobs if you want to work. There's no such thing as an unemployed medical technologist. It's just not. Right. It's like an unemployed police officer. No. No. You gotta be a pretty effed up person not to be able to get a job as a med tech. Right? So, yeah. All right, um, I just wanted to talk for a little bit. So, some exciting things are, you know, also going on. Some changes are going on that I'm not at liberty to really talk about. But further down the line, I will. Yeah. So much beauty in Florida. All right, you guys have a great one. This is Dominique. Peace.